Well, before we get Good. to the State of the Union, can we talk about the breaking news that we've been reporting here on CNN this morning, and that is that ISIS has put out another video. They are demanding $200 million for these Japanese hostages. We know that the U.S. has a policy not to ever pay ransom. Is the White House working with other countries to make sure that they follow that same principle? Well, Allison, let me start by saying that you know, this is uh, just further evidence of the deplorable tactics of this terrible extremist group. Uh, and the United States is certainly working to build a coalition of more than 60 countries uh, that is actually taking the fight to ISIL in Iraq and in Syria. Uh, so you can certainly anticipate that the United States will be working with other countries to try to secure the release of these hostages. Uh, but at the same time, it is the policy of the United States that paying ransoms to ISIS to try to secure the release of hostages only puts Americans in more danger. It only actually provides the funding mechanism that allows ISIL to continue to carry out these terrible acts like this. Absolutely. So, so I mean, if other countries do it, it's really, it sort of defeats the whole purpose. Well, we certainly, work, that's why we work closely with other countries to try to secure the release of these hostages without paying ransom, and that's what we'll do in this case, too. And we know that the White House was undergoing a review of the policy of paying ransom. What's the status of that review? Uh, no, that's not true, Allison. What, what we are doing is we're actually undergoing a review to discuss how we can better integrate the elements of the federal government to try to secure the release uh, of hostages when they are taken. And that means working with the intelligence community, with the military, with law enforcement, and here at the White House and the State Department, because we use every lever of government to try to secure the release of hostages. But we're not reviewing our policy about paying ransoms. That's not something that we believe is in the best interest of the United States. It's certainly not in the best interest of citizens who are traveling abroad. Uh, and again, it's certainly not going to further our effort uh, to defeat, uh, degrade, and destroy ISIL.